Hello, this is Daniel Mark, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This one's going to be for Flash Episode 10 of Season 1, The Revenge of the Rogue. Um, so yeah, both Flash and Arrow come back for this week. Flash came out first, so let's review. So yeah, before I begin though, 10 seconds of spoiler warning as usual for those who I guess actually watched the episode and haven't already. Stop the video, go check it out, and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 seconds of spoiler warning as usual, starting now. Okay, so uh, 10 seconds are up, so for those who I guess actually watched the episode and haven't already, please don't comment down below or be messaging me, but I never gave you a fair warning, as usual, I did. Um, so yeah, Revenge of the Rogues, um, episode 10, season 1 of Flash, what did I think of it, as usual, quick synopsis, like the just like, and then the race. So basically, um, we have the return of Captain Cold, and he comes back with one of his friends, who, who's called Mick Rooney, but they nicknamed him Heatwave. Um, so yeah, basically, um, Captain Cold, he, he still has the gun, the free ray um, gun that um, takes, it, takes the temperature all the way to absolute zero. Heat Wave has the gun that takes it all the way to the hottest possible temperature. So imagine absolute zero for, for the sun or something like that. Um, so basically hotter than the sun, maybe more, or just as hot, whatever. Um, so yeah, basically now they're both trying to find the Flash. Why is Captain Cold trying to find the Flash? Uh, Mick Rooney, uh, Heatwave, he's also trying to find the Flash, but he has other intentions. You know, he's trying to become rich, you know, uh, and get money fast. So, yeah, so they're, both their, both of their uh, goals kind of clash at times. But at the end of the day, they both have the same goals. And in order to accomplish that goal, they, they kidnap Kate then and try to get the Flash to battle them, which they do. At the end of the episode, they are arrested. Um, we also have um, Eddie, who you know, we also have Iris, who is moving in with Eddie. Um, we also have Eddie, and he tries to save the Flash during the final battle. Final battle, which is pretty cool. You know, he's trying to accept the Flash a bit more, which is that was pretty cool. And we also have Cisco, who he that created these shields that let that let the police officers um, basically not get frozen or heated all the way to death. It's, they're protected from the from the gu from the freeze ray gun. And after some technical um, efficiencies, or you know, after a couple of upgrades, of upgrades, it's also able to um, protect the officers from the from the fire um, of the fire gun that Heat Wave has. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall, it was I think it was a pretty good return. I am a little bit disappointed. I will admit, I will, I am a little bit disappointed. Disappointed, but I think that's because the previous episode was just such a grand finale with the reverse flash and everything. Then here we can have you know the return of the rogues, you know revenge of the rogues, you know and it's really, you know it's not really any of the major villains. Um, so I was a bit disappointed, but overall it was still a pretty great episode. Um, the acting and the writing for the for the most part were good, and the action scenes you you could tell they are getting better. I I especially did like um the final action scene with um the uh with, with flash. Versus Heat Wave and Captain Cold, and basically in order to stop them, they had to cross the stream. So you know, kind of a Ghostbusters uh, reference there, but you know, cross the stream. And yeah, and the battle kind of reminded me of the battle he had in the high school with Girder. Um, you know, with uh, yeah, Girder, his uh, and his bully. Um, I I do it kind of it did remind me a bit of that battle, and that was pretty cool. But you you could tell the fighting styles and everything did um did get better. Um, there's also some training things sequences with um Wells and and Barry Allen, which, you know, showed him getting faster, and I thought that was pretty cool. So, I mean, he had a, a lot of good moments. I mean, it was a strong episode. I just think the major problem is, problem is that coming back from even, an even stronger episode that was overly hyped, and then this one, I mean, you had a few trailers and teasers there, but really, it wasn't really hyped, if you know what I mean. I think that's the problem that, I mean, it didn't have to be hyped, but I do think there were some expectations to be met, and I just don't think it met them. Of all that well, and that's mostly due to the fact that the previous episode was such a grand episode. Uh, at, unlike this one, that was, you know, it was a good return, but it could it definitely could have been better in some aspects. I mean, what aspects? I mean, maybe, you know, I mean, honestly, I really don't know in what ways it could have been better because it was a great, good return, but I do think coming back from the previous episode, which had a reverse flash, it's kind of hard to come back from that. So, yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, and 6 being the intense, I give it an 8 out of 10. It's a pretty good return. I really do like it, and hopefully, um, we'll see more good episodes.
uh, coming up in the future. So yeah, um, watch out for my review of Arrow coming up later this week. And yeah, that's basically it for now. Subscribe if you've never subscribed um, already. I do movie, movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. So definitely do stay tuned for that. Aside from that, like the videos from Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. That's basically it for now. This is Daniel Marks signing off.